everybody in the world uses words. The writer has to take these most known things and put them together in such a way that a reader says, I never thought of it that way before. My mother's boyfriend raped me. I was seven, so I stopped speaking for five years. In those five years, I read every book in the black school library. When I decided to speak, I had a lot to say. Maya was a dancer. She sang, she was an actress. I mean, she was a beautiful Giacometti sculpture. Of course, she was a writer. When I reached for the pen to write, I have to scrape it across those scars. Maya was responsible for teaching me why I should know more about my roots, but I remember her being very angry, very angry. My mother taught me a love of justice, a love of doing what's right. I know why the cage bird sings. It was a very important literary feat. Cage Bird was really a, almost another Bible for me. It was the opening for me to wanting to be a writer. It was the first time I read something that resonated. It touched a very young girlish part of me. It reflected uh, my own mother's life. When I read it, I couldn't believe that she was free enough to talk about them. I read those words and thought, somebody knows who I am. She was big and she had the voice of God. Out of the hut of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past rooted in pain, I rise. I'm a black ocean leaping and wide, welling and swelling, I bear in the tide, bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave. I am the hope and the dream of the slave, and so I rise, I rise, I rise.